Hello, we're finally back. It's oh, it's been too long, and I've been I've had to troubleshoot OBS for the last 20 minutes to try and figure out the issue, and I fixed it. So today marks the start of a six-part series that I intend to finish at some point, where we're going to be covering all the classes in Planet Side 2, and we are going to be going over how to play them. Well, not how to play them effectively, but just a general guide. So we're starting with the Light Assault because it's the best class in the game, hands down. And we'll just start with the class itself. So generally you want to pick a gun, right? The starter guns are decent, the Solstice is good, the Mercenary is very good, and the Track 5 is also good for, th for this video purposes. We're going to be doing it on Vanu, but I will switch factions for each video, so why not? But the default carbines are good and should last you a while, especially the Mercenary, the Solstice is, yeah, and the Track 5 is okay. But generally, you do want to pick up your long-range carbine, so that's going to be your Pulse RC, your Cougar or AMC for TR, or your Razor or ACX-11 for the NC. They're all going to serve you a while as well, and the ACX-11 and Pulse RC are considered to be some of the best carbines in the game. You're also going to want a close quarters gun. And if you want to go all out course, close quarters, you're going to want the Serpent, for Vanu, you're going to want the GD7F for NC, and you're going to want the Lynx for TR. Now these are all just very docka 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 -y weapons in close quarters. They suck at range. It's not much else to say. What can I say? They're bullet hoses. And if you don't feel like running carbines, you can also run shotguns or submachine guns if you feel the need to. If you want to run a shotgun, I recommend the Deimos. Or, I believe it's the Bruiser and the Blackjack on the other two factions, so that'd be Bruiser for NC and Blackjack for TR. They're all the second generation pump action shotguns, which means they do a little more damage than the other pump action, but they also take a little longer to reload. However, the normal shotguns, which are the Fanatos for Vanu, the Mauler for NC, and I believe it's the... I can't remember what it is. It's the default shotgun for TR. It's the Barrage. That's what it is. It's the Barrage. These are decent. They'll last you a while. They're not too great, but they'll serve you. And if you absolutely need a submachine gun, the NS7 PDW is a good gun. I personally don't like it, and I don't recommend it, but a lot of people do. I personally recommend the MKV Suppressed, which is basically just a PDW with a suppressor on it. I think it's a better gun, but a lot of people don't, so I'd go with the NSPDW. However, if you're on NC, I do recommend the Cyclone. If you're on Vanu, get the Sirius, and if you're on TR, uh, get the Armistice. They're all very good SMGs, especially in close range. So, well, that's the guns, at least the primaries. And because I want to make this a little long and I want to drag out this time because I have nothing else to do with my life, we're going to go over the secondaries as well. So this is pretty much just whatever you want for a secondary. However, there are a couple of neat guns here because of the light assault mobility. While the Commissioner is just a good all-round gun, it's, it will serve you well. The Hunter QCX can also be very good if you can aim it right and you can compensate for it. However, it's not very new player friendly and otherwise it's just not a very good gun in general. You also have the black hand if you feel like sniping people so it's basically just a commissioner with better range however it's slightly worse has two less rounds in the magazine. It'll do you well especially if you can headshot with it. Uh, for the most part the other sidearms are really not that good. You can run with the emissary if you do need an automatic sidearm but yeah it's really not that good. And a pilot will work well in close quarters as well if you need to just obliterate your enemy up close. Rocket rifle, there's not much to say about this. Go with Typhoon rockets. There's really not anything to say about it. Jump jets really come down to your personal preference. Skirmishers are basically just kind of, they're all rounders. Icarus will shoot you very high very quick. Drifters will allow you to kind of glide along for a long time, but it can't get as high. Icarus can't get very horizontally far. And then ambushers kind of shoot you forward. There's kind of no way to describe them other than this is pretty much what they do. They shoot you forward, but then you have to wait a certain amount of time, eight seconds at rank one, to use them again. It's worth mentioning that you get the first rank of skirmishers and the first rank of drifters for free. However, you will have to pay, I believe it's 50 certs for the first rank of Icarus 
and 150 for the first rank of Amateur. I run Skirmisher because I don't really like the others, but they're there if you want to use them. Suit Slot, Nano Weave. Just Nano Weave. You just... Nothing else is good. Ammo... Okay. Adrenaline Shield, or... Sorry, not Adrenaline Shield. Advanced Shield Capacitor. It's not useful. As a Light Assault, you're going to be ducking behind cover, so you'll have plenty of time for your shields to come back up. Ammo Belt. It's useful if you're a good player and you find yourself running out of ammo, but otherwise, Nano Waves is still just better. Flak Armor. You really shouldn't be taking too many explosions with a Light Assault, so... It's really kind of useless. Flight Suit just gives you more uh, jump jet fuel and reduces Ambusher cooldown. If you want to go for an amb Ambusher, like, kill loadout, you can run it, but otherwise it's really not useful. Grenade Bandolier, grenades aren't too useful. Nano Weave is going to reduce the damage you take by 20% for, from different resistances. So, like, Rank 1 will take it from Small Arms. Rank 2 is Heavy Machine Guns. Rank 3 is Gatling Guns. Rank 4 is Aircraft Nose Guns and Anti-Aircraft Machine Guns. And rank 5, which I don't recommend getting, will save you from basically the Archer, which is an anti-material rifle. Adrenaline Pump will increase your sprint speed by 10%. No, it's a waste of certs. It is completely useless. Don't get it. Munitions Pouch, you get more rounds for your rocket rifle. Also not useful whatsoever. Nanoweave is the way to go. Grenades. These are really just all up to personal preference. If you want to run HSNV and be a sneaky kind of player, you can run Smoke. If you want to go for, like, blind everybody in the room and then just come and eat everybody alive with a high-capacity submachine gun or a shotgun or a close quarter carbine, flash grenades are the way you want to go. However, frag grenades are just kind of the easiest one to do. And they're free. So, utility, really C4 is what you want to run here. There's really no reason, no, no reason to run Auxiliary Shield. Uh, no reason to run resto kits. Medical kits could use some use because you're usually out of the way of medics, but you can negate this with something we'll get into later on. So C4 is the way to go. Melee, it doesn't matter, honestly. I use the Araxium Slasher because it's a rare weapon and I like showing off. So you could, the default knife will work fine. The power knives will work fine. The amateur race will, will work fine. It's pretty much it. Anything really works here. Although, because you're really not going to be using your knife too much, I do recommend the the Raxium Slasher, the Slasher, or the Force Blade, or the default knives in general. Just because uh, the Force Blade, the Mag Cutter, and the Chain Blade, which are the default knives, they'll do fine. Because you can, close, the, you can quick knife in close quarters to kill them really easily. Implants. This is how you negate the Med Kit. Regen. It will regen health when you're out of combat, and if you're at rank 5, headshot kills will restore 50 health immediately. It's useful, especially since you're out of combat. For your second implant, I'm the guy who runs regen on everything, so regen is must-have for me, but you can swap it out. Second, really is personal choice. I like assimilate because I get shield when I kill people with headshots. Battle hardened works fine too. Cat-like will work fine. Uh, what... Sensor shield will work fine. Safe fall will eh, not really be too necessary. Counterintelligence will work fine. Ammo printer will work fine if you don't want to run ammo belt. Although, however, do stay away from nightmare. Ocular shield. Safeguard. Uh, sweeper HUD. Target focus. Vampire. And really, you can kind of run anything, honestly. Just stay away from a couple. So that's pretty much the class itself. Also, the alert's going to end, so... Actually, no, I guess we get to stay on this condo, which is convenient. Next up, you got directives. And I have them done. But we can still go over a general guide. So I did kills, carbine kills, shotgun kills, submachine gun kills, and light assault kills. I did not do vehicle destruction. Kills... Kills is just easy. It's really not that hard to get kills. You need 1,200 of them at a Raxium tier. Might take you a while, but it's super easy to do. Carbine kills, same thing. Just use a carbine to kill people. Pretty much the same thing. You're probably going to get kills using carbines anyways, so you'll get two done for the price of one. Shotgun kills, I recommend the pump actions. However, the fully automatics and the default ones will work fine. Really, these ones aren't too hard. Some machine gun kills, 
These are a little more difficult. You are going to need 800 for carbine kills, 800 for shotgun kills, and 800 for some machine guns, I should mention. Also, we just won the alert. Suck it, TR. Submachine gun kills, though. Really, PDW works well. Serious uh, second-gen SMGs as a whole work well. Really, any submachine gun. This is going to be kind of difficult, though, because you'll need to be flanking since these guns are not very good. However, you will get the job done with them. And then it comes down to vehicle destruction or light assault kills. Vehicle destruction, I do not recommend doing. You'll need to kill 300 vehicles at the Iraxium tier. And while you can easily get this if you go for harassers, flashes, and lightnings, it still is fairly difficult considering that you do need to get 300 of them. And then there's the fact that each C4 brick, you'll need one for a flash, one for, har for a harasser, unless it is composite armor, in which case you need two. And then you'll need two for a lightning. Really, and when you consider the fact that it's going to be 75 nanites to regen one brick of C4, and you'll usually need to use two. And that's not even counting if you miss the C4. It, it just takes a long time, honestly. It's just not worth it. Light assault kills just takes time. Go kill enemy light assaults as a light assault. Pretty basic. And then I, of course, have the Araxium armor because I'm pathetic and don't have anything else to do in this game. Also, it looks sick, and I heavily recommend grinding for it. Your standard light assault will look like this, ignoring the decal, but this is pretty much what your standard light assault will do. However, if you buy a helmet and you get the Araxium armor, it will look pretty sick. Not to mention that all the cosmetic armors do look fairly good on light assault. So, that's pretty much the basis of the light assault. Now, because I basically told you, here's what does what. This is useful, this is not useful, yada 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 yada. What better way to prove that I kind of know what I'm doing by going to shoot people? And it is going to sadly take a minute to fly, and because I don't edit, you guys get to watch this, but I can go over a couple more things. As a light assault, you're going to want to get up, flank, and get behind the enemies. This is kind of basic, however... It should be fairly easy to do. Rooftops. Uh, towers are a great spot. Uh, the roofs of buildings. Just places where you don't think people are going to expect you are really, really good spots to farm in. That's what the Light Assault is very good at. It's a very good farmer. However, it is also a very good tactical player as you can get behind the enemy and make sure that they're dead before they can even get to your squad mates. I should hopefully get some gameplay of that at some point, but, you know... No promises. So the other thing, really, is that you'll get shot up by mosquitoes. Nah, that's not important. I'm not kidding. Seriously, though, I thought it said they were on scene. Oh, yeah. But, like, as an example, right here, people are not really going to expect you here because you're just so far out of the way. So with some good burst firing, you should be able to take out targets. People will then proceed to notice you, and you may die due to another light assault even. However, if you play smart and you play well, you should be able to avoid the enemies. Or at least get behind cover before you do die, which is why Nano Eve is useful. Because it takes usually two extra bullets to kill you. And that's why Nano Eve is good. But the Light Assault, even if you're not behind cover, is still a very good class. Just strong weaponry for the most part on each faction. Combined with the fact that you have all this mobility, it's extremely useful. That's because with Heavy, or Medic, or really any other class, you don't have the sort of mobility that the Light Assault does. The medics and everybody else cannot get up on the rooftop by just holding spacebar or whatever you find your ability to. Oh, and here's some C4 play, by the way. Boom. Boom. Sunderer gone. Two C4 and a rocket rifle from Typhoons will generally kill a Sunderer. However, with the new Combined Arms Initiative changes, if the Sunderer is not already damaged, you may need free. Oh look, bouncing many. Yeah, you're gonna want to watch for those too. Uh, you might be victim to many of those because you might, you're probably not gonna be paying attention to them. 
which results in death, which results in a bad KD, which results in you feeling unhappy. Little bit extra there, but that's besides the point. However, one thing the Light Assaults are very good at doing is finding Cloak Sunderers. Because you're out of the way, nobody's going to expect you, which means you can farm. And this goes for normal Sunderers as well, because nobody can see you, especially if you're in a good spot. You can just kind of sit there and farm a Sunder until the end of days. Or you can, like, or you can, what you can also do is you can drive a vehicle such as a Turbo Flash or a Harasser and drive over a tank mine, said so whatever. But you could drive a turbo flash and you could ramp up using the turbo and get on a roof. And you, while you could do this as any class, it's better as a light assault because it gives you a safety net of, okay, I failed miserably. Can please people stop shooting at me? Hey. Yeah, gameplay is bound to go off topic, by the way, if you couldn't tell yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty... Ow. He won't, okay, he's cheating. <laughs> but really, that's all I have to say about the life salt. They're, as I know this, I know this is really a very, very, very general guide. I've gone over the weapons you should probably be using and what works well. I've gone over sidearms, which is generally not too much of a concern, but it's worth a mention. I've gone over suit slots and just abilities in general, and I've gone over class directive. Basically, I've given you what you need to know to start becoming a decent Light Assault player. And you might have times where you're going to be playing pretty much suicidal. I do it all the time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You never know. Th that's pretty much it though. It's like, I'm going to continue to grind for a little bit. Because I can pad out the video length and also work on my Araxium, and I should mention, for the Carbine Directive, if you want to get the Araxium Carbine, so the Track Shot for TR, the Eclipse for Vanu, or the uh, Fortuna for NC, the Light Assault is the class to do it on. I do not recommend doing them on Engineers, because Carbines are generally- ow, that was dumb of me, I should not have stayed still. Oh look, Daniel. Is- it's just- Engineers do not really benefit from carbines. However, light assaults do have the mobility to make them useful since they're not usually very good at range. That's pretty much, though, what I have to say about the light assault. I know I'm terrible at making guides and I should honestly feel ashamed. Whoa! That was not okay. Did you see how he rammed into me there? I mean, it was a decent tactical decision, but that's besides the point. I'm allowed to complain. Or I'm allowed to die. That too. So I'm just gonna play for a little bit for you guys. I know, I act like I have a big YouTube following and I do, I have 12 subs. Woo. Really breaking records. That's pretty much the point. Victory is at hand. Quality content is not something I make. But yeah, uh, whatever you wanna see next week. Thinking about Medic or Infiltrator. And I will get around to doing all of them. These sh should hopefully be weekly. However, I really never know when I'm actually in the mood to record one of these things. Last time I uploaded was like three months ago. So really, you can leave a comment down. What you want me to do. As I said, thinking about Medic or Infiltrator. But I'm really open to anything, honestly. It doesn't matter. I can make anything work. And I do apologize, I know it's a really thing, really long time, is my mic might be quiet, that's just OBS playing. I have my mic actually set as default volume, and I can't raise it, so that's literally just OBS screwing it up. And with the way OBS has been to me lately, I would not be surprised if it was OBS screwing me up. Because I had to like troubleshoot for about 10 minutes to figure out why my videos were choppy, so I could upload See, and now we just get off topics, where this pretty much just turns into a game, uh, regular gameplay. But the point is still there. Speaking of which, gameplay videos themselves, or play sessions, I like to call them, will be coming. I just have to find the time and the effort to hit the record button and play like my usual self. It's not very difficult. 
I just don't want to. That's pretty much it. I could do it like 24/7. I could do, I could put out a session every single day if I wanted to. I just choose not to. Also, I don't play the. Uh, sometimes I play this game every single game. Okay, that's besides the point. The real point is, is that we're shooting people. That's all we're doing. Also, can I just mention right now how unfun this game is right now? Because of the Halloween directive, it's a seasonal directive, you get stuff for doing it. It requires you basically to knife people as an infiltrator and run over people in a flash. It's not very fun to play. Because in almost every fight you get about 20 infiltrators just sitting there. Also, this is really- Ow! See what I mean? That would never have happened if this director was not going on. Actually, maybe, considering he's not wearing it. I don't know. That's besides the point. I kind... Yeah, I guess we can go to this base. Caps or defense. I really don't know which. Yeah, I've completely run out of commentary. And I don't even... I didn't even have a script. I, f I literally just said words for the, pa for the first five, six minutes. Whenever I... Uh, Okay, I consider that to be pretty blank. I don't think that should have happened. Considering I jump jetted over him and he... See, this is why I can't make guides. As soon as I get to the gameplay part, I get salt. And I'm sure salt makes for very enjoyable videos. And I literally have not decided yet if I'm saying that with sarcasm or not. That's how much thought goes into making these. I don't even know what script I'm doing. I pick, okay, we're doing a light assault video. Let's just give it a guide, say what guns you're gonna use, whatever. And I freehand it all. There is no practice coming into this. And please, OBS, don't let this video be like extremely choppy or whatever, like it has. I think I fixed the problem, but this video's still going up if, it, if it's broken. Because the commentary does seem to come out fine and I would prefer to have a community that watches for the commentary. But, okay, I can't play with these infiltrators. They make me salt. Also, can I just straight up say how cool the H-Type helmet is? I've been running it since I started. It's cool. Also, the skull helmet that makes flames. It makes flames. That's literally all you can say about it. It makes flames. Also, for completing basic training directives, you get... Special Light Assault Helmet. No, it's not very good. But it's there. So if you want to use it, use it. But no, it's not very good. Also, why did I switch over to Animalist Helmet? Yeah, uh, I guess I will probably end up playing until we lose this facility, because that's probably going to be fairly quick. Not to mention that this fight is not even very good to begin with. Considering, well, Esimir is not a bad content. I've actually started starting to like Esimir. I know. What kind of person am I? Also, bye bye. That's another thing about C4. You can get behind somebody and ruin their day because you're a light assault. I should have really thought of this earlier, but. I don't know. Hey, we're already shirt on the leaderboard. I guess I can clickbait this title now and be like. OMG, sure, on the leaderboard. Gone, gone wrong. Gone insane. Light Assault MLG 420 Pro. Blaze it. 2017. Special. Rare. I don't know. YouTube's hard, man. And I hate... Well, I don't hate doing it. But See, now I'm just going... I'm just going off on a tangent now. <laughs> I would spend 10,000 smedleys to have a kill all infiltrators in my faction button. That would be actually an amazing... He, he shot through the wall. But... That's besides the point. Come on guys, stop defending this facility. I want... At this point now... I can't. I know I can quit any time I want. And I can still call it quality content. But... Ugh... Uh, also, if there was, a, I don't, I don't know if I consider that a voice crack, but if you do, I deeply apologize. 
but you gotta live with it. Because when literally nothing you do is intended, it's pretty hard to script them out. Also, I don't edit. Yeah. That's another reason for low video quality, although I've made this point in about 70 bazillion videos. Mind you, I suppose if I had 70 bazillion videos, I'd actually have kind of a successful YouTube following. Never mind. Oh no, why am I on the point? That would require... That would cause me to defend the facility. And I do not want to stay here any longer than I do already. You know what? That fight's not even good anymore. That's it. We're done. First video in of the guides things. Yeah, they'll come. Hopefully on a weekly basis. And... I don't count this as a gameplay video, so next gameplay video will be Vanu. Because I think that's what's in the rotation, but correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, whatever you want to see next week, to comment down below. Even though I'm literally pointing at the floor. Yeah. You get the point. Deal with it. Anyways. I don't have an outro. So, I guess I can say that I am officially done recording this video. And I don't have to record it anymore. <sighs> Yay! Anyway, I'm really dragging this out. I want those YouTube monies!